kids! Welcome to this week's edition of TBC Kids Club. I'm your host, Crafty Aggie. TBC Kids Club is a children's club that seeks to promote learning through art, crafts, and do-it-yourself activities. If you are a parent, register on the links below and subscribe to our channel. Let's begin, shall we? In this activity, I'll be showing you how to make an ice cream cone counting game. You will need the following materials. A black marker pen, or you can also use a pencil, a black crayon, or a black pen. Then you will need a box cutter and a pair of scissors. Always remember to ask for help when handling these sharp objects. Next, you will have colored beads, then a ruler. You will also need paper. This is brown paper, the one used for covering books. This is just yellow paper. You can use any other color. And this is very thick straw board, which I'm just going to use as a mat for when I'm cutting with my box cutter. And finally, you will also need glue stick. All these materials, except for the beads, can be found at textbook center. Step one, draw and cut out the shape of a cone as follows. For this step, you will need your marker pen, your ruler, and the brown covering paper. A cone is just triangle. So just follow along with me. And I draw it. That was a letter B, and now let's close our B. Let's just bring this here. Nice. So then we take our pair of scissors and cut this out. Cone. Step 2. Draw a checkered pattern for the cone as follows. Okay, so with your marker pen and your ruler, we are just going to draw lines diagonally on each side. So we'll start with this direction. We'll just go all the way. Then we do the same for this other end. So just start from that corner. And we just go all the way. And we are done. Step three. Using a box cutter, make two cuts on the sides of the cone as follows. So I'm going to place this ruler over here so that I can show you from which point to which point we are going to cut. So I'm basically use, using the width of the ruler to give us the exact position of where the cut should be. So take your box cutter. Don't make it so close to the end of the cone. So I'm going to do it here and make another marking so that you can see it clearly. So I'm going to make it from here. I'm just going to press my ruler down. Then we do the same for this other end. Again, I'm going to show you where I'm going to do it at. So take your ruler. And then go from one point to the other. so we can see them. Step 4. Draw and cut out an ice cream scoop shape as follows. On your yellow paper, just follow me as I draw the ice cream, ice cream scoop. 
So I'll just start with a circle like that. I hope it will fit on our cone. Ah, good, perfect fit. Then I will cut it out. <clears throat> so I'm just first removing it from the entire piece of paper so that it's easy. Chop off. Stick the cone to the scoop. Step 6. Cut out a long thin strip of paper and write down the numbers 1 to 9 as follows. So again, I will just use my ruler, I will place it on the edge of the paper, like this, and I will just rip off to get the long thin strip, so this is it. You can even uh, clear out these excesses using a pair of scissors, just to have a nice neat finish and then okay just a minute now let's begin with our numbers so i'm just using my marker pen i start with one i'm just using this as a spacer on the sides of the cone as follows. Okay, so you remember the two slits that we formed. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass this strip from the underside. Then these numbers will show at the center and then they will go out. This strip will go out through the other slit. So it will be like this. You can be able to move it from side to side. So let me show you how to use this craft. So we have number five here showing between the slits of this cone. So we are going to count five beads, which will represent five sprinkles. So we, we begin one, two, three, and five done so five beads for the number five showing in between these two slits so you can do it again with other numbers you can try out with four so you just move the strip then you remove these other ones and then you repeat the same process counting as you place them Take a photo of your ice cream cone project and upload it using the hashtag TBC Kids Club to stand a chance of winning fun gift hampers from Textbook Center. Now, in the next activity, I'll be showing you how to make a watermelon themed tic-tac-toe game. You will need the following materials, buttons, 
you will need two different types of buttons, three of each, so six of them in total. Then you will need a water coloring set and of course your water. Next you will need a pair of scissors, always ask for help when handling this sharp object. Next you will need a ruler, then you will need a marker pen, a black pen or a black crayon or just a pencil. Then you will need cardstock. This is the one used for making cards. Then you will need a circular template. This is just the lid of one of my tins. All these materials, except for the circular template, the water and the buttons can be found at textbook center. Step one, using the circular template, draw and cut out a circle from the cardstock. So take your circular template and place it right at the center of your cardstock and with your marker pen just go around it like that very easy then take your pair of scissors and cut around And this is it. Step two, color the circle in different colors as follows. Okay, so we are going to start with the color green for the outer edge. You all know how a watermelon looks like. So again, dip your brush in water like we always do and go to your color of choice. So we have an option of either dark green or light green. I fancy dark green for today. So, we will just start, just go around the edges of the circle. Wow, it's going to be such a lovely craft. I absolutely love watermelons. So, we just color. And the best thing is that we, we are using watercolor which dries up so quickly. It's not like the other types of paint which take quite a long while I'm just making the green edge a bit thicker can even leave it at this or you can also continue making it thicker but I am okay with this then the next color that we are going to use is white which is a step that you can you can skip because already our cardstock is white but since I already have color white here on my palette let me just try it out and see how it looks like nice i'm not sure if it's completely visible from your end but i can make out the difference though it's so hard to do so my my cardstock is already white when we get to paint the last color you'll see you'll be able to see but for now you just know that it's meant to be white my brush then the last color is red so I don't want to smudge on white paint I need to give it some room so that you can be able to see it on I'm being very, very keen. Good thing this brush is so small. That way I can control it. Wow. I just 
love this red color. It's so rich. It's so rich. Very, very rich. So again, I dip it in water because the brush is getting dry. Remember, you can always take a break and come back to eat a bit later on, just in case you're tired. You don't have to finish everything in one sitting. You can always pause the video, relax, even have a real watermelon, and examine how it looks like on the inside and see if we got it right. Then when you come back to your painting, you'll be so sure what you're doing. I'm just now coloring randomly on the inside because I don't really have to be careful. It's all red over here. Almost done. Just filling in this and then one last trick we are going to draw in black seeds so just all around with your marker pen just do this and we are done painting this let me show you this is the base of our tic-tac-toe game, which is watermelon theme. So it's green on the outside, white here on the middle part, and then red, a very nice red with black seeds showing. Step three, draw tic-tac-toe lines at the center as follows. Okay, so take your ruler, just place it there. So we are just going to use this. So nothing fancy, it's something to play with. So these are the tic-tac-toe lines. So you are meant to have nine spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Finally, place your different types of beads in place to start playing. So player one, is using purple buttons then player two has this different it's differently colored buttons nice texture there so the games begin okay so let's play the game so this is player one and this is player two we each have three different buttons so you either win by having three of your buttons aligned like this you, you can win like this, you can also win like this, or you can also win like this. So three different ways of winning. So player one can make a move like this, and player two will come and place uh, their button here. And player one will go ahead and place it there. Player two will be clever enough and notice whatever player one is planning and block their win like that. You can play it with your friends and see how mind-boggling it is. Thank you so much for watching. Don't miss out on a chance of winning fun gift hampers from Textbook Center. Simply upload photos of your projects using the hashtag TVC Kids Club. Remember to subscribe to our channel or click the links below for more details. See you all next time. Bye!